Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India back uh, to my course aspects of biochemical engineering and last uh, couple of lectures we concentrated on the transport phenomena in bioprocess now this uh, lecture is little bit different uh, this is uh, sterilization first i shall discuss the air sterilization then uh, i shall discuss the medium sterilization process now i told you that you might be aware that i told you in the biochemical industry when you use any kind of microorganism the sterilization plays very important role and uh, we shall have to why sterilization plays important role because we want to have our desired organism should grow in the media so that we can get the our desired product so this is <coughs> for that uh, we find uh, since most of the uh, fermentation processes are controlled by uh, aerobic microorganisms so so we find uh, two different sources the contamination may come Uh, that uh, one is uh, air and another is the media so it is that is why the air and medium sterilization plays very important role and as per fermentation uh, fermenter concern as per the air line concern those sterilization is can be done very easily by injecting the live stream for some time we can sterilize those uh, empty vessel reactor vessel or empty pipeline we can easily sterilize now here i want to discuss the air sterilization process now whenever we talk about sterilization process we come across uh, three type of <coughs> that uh, killing of microorganism process and, uh, and these processes are uh, sterilization thermization and the pasteurization so if you look at this is called sterilization thermization and pasteurization now what do you mean by that sterilization we means that you know killing of all the living microorganisms both pathogens so killing of all my living microorganism both pathogenic and non pathogenic including the spores are killed but what is thermization it is partially removal of pathogens now let me let me give a very typical example that dairy industry suppose they are using the milk am i right milk is their product and we know milk uh, is the best media for the growth of uh, pathogenic organism like uh, mycobacterium uh, species we have, we have uh, um, cisella the different type of pathogens they can grow very very easily so suppose the the dairy industry they are working 6 days in a week and uh, sunday let us assume that sunday is the holiday so suppose some milk reach to the counter on the evening of uh, saturday so they have to keep this milk for more than one day and uh, they, this is the good time to grow the, of the pathogenic organism so uh, so even they put the milk in the chiller that your microorganism go, will grow and, and 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 spoil the milk so what did they have to do they reduce the microbial load that present in the milk and this uh, this is done this reduction of microbial load with respect to with the uh, without concerning the pathogen and non pathogen just to reduce the microbial load so the storability of the milk can be increased so this is called thermization process and now the the third thing is the pasteurization process it is the reduction of the number of viable pathogenic organism because we know that two type of organisms are there one is called pathogenic organism and non pathogenic organism what is pathogenic organism they are harmful to the human health and non pathogenic organism that is not harmful to the human health so we were we were working with the biochemical industry mostly we concerned with the non pathogenic organism not the pathogenic organism so pasteurized milk that means it doesn't contain any pathogenic organism but it contain non pathogenic organism that is why we cannot <laughs> preserve the pasteurized milk for a longer period of time because uh, after after 3 4 days we have to Uh, it will. Uh, you have to throw the milk out. Now there are different methods of sterilization process. Now we have. Uh, it can be divided into two types. One is the physical, another is chemical. Am I right? Now physical. 
what do we have sunlight we have heat heat we have different type dry heat and moist heat and we know the moist heat is more effective for the sterilization then we have vibration then radiation we have two type of radiation non ionizing radiation ionizing radiation then we have filtration uh, different type of filter we can use now in the chemical we use the different alcohol we know that in the in the you know hospitals or any pharmacy that when you you we bought the surface sterilization we largely use the alcohol aldehyde phenolics halogens um, then heavy metals surface active agents and dry the gaseous is formaldehyde ethylene oxide plasma and iodine that is also used what we call halogens one is called iodine that is largely used or chlorine also largely that is a strong oxidizing agent now for air sterilization what is the uh, main purpose of air sterilization that main purpose is the remove of air borne of microorganism present in the air for aerobic fermentation process and uh, there are wide variation in the quantity of suspended particles of air in the atmosphere outdoor there are different type of uh, organism might be present in the air and the microorganism may vary in the range 10 to 2000 Per cubic meter, while the suspended particle may vary 20 to 10,000 uh, per cubic meter. Here, I want to tell one one interesting thing that usually the biochemical industry recommend that it should be the higher altitude, and we assume in the higher altitude the the amount of suspended particle will be less, and if the amount of suspended particle less, the microbial contamination also should be less. The among the microorganism presence. the air fungal spores 50% and gram negative bacteria 40% are dominated this is usually the case we have observed in the air in the air <coughs> now question comes what are the method of how, how air can be sterilized air can be sterilized by different means one is filtration and the heat and the ultraviolet rays or other electromagnetic magnetic waves and the chemical agent now uh, filtration we understand very easily that you know uh, if you have a filter suppose if you, this is a column and if you have a filter you pass air pass air and take it there so whatever micro whatever suspended particle present here that uh, we have fiber here or membrane here that you know that particle entrap in in between that suppose membrane if you have membrane membrane has some pore size and if you if you want to separate the bacteria and we know the bacteria size is 0.5 to 2 micron so if you so, so your pore size is more less than 0.5 micron so all bacteria if you pass all bacteria will be retained by the uh, that uh, membrane so this is the membrane this uh, filtration can be done with the with the help of membrane with the help of fiber different way we it can be done and that the heat if heat can be used but a uh, problem of heat that when we considered air sterilization by the heat is not recommended why it is not recommended because the air is purely con uh, conduction of heat so you require more heat for the sterilization of air which is not recommended then ultraviolet rays and other electromagnetic waves because two type of airs we have one is moving air and another is stagnant air now we know all the operation theaters we have seen that usually that is sterilization done with the help of ultraviolet rays or other electromagnetic waves mostly ultraviolet rays we use even we, we in the in the lab we have the lamella flow okay, their lamella flow where we transport our culture that this, uh, this sterilization there is done by the help of uv rays uh, so uh, that is that is usually recommended for the Uh, for the stagnant air not for the running air and another is the what you call chemical agent that i told you chlorine uh, we spray chlorine in the room so that you know room will be uh, more or less sterilized so this is this is the, the the mechanism through which we can we can we can uh, sterilize the air now um, for running air that uh, in between the uh, that uh, filtration and the heat we usually go for filtration because filtration is uh, usually for uh, usually used in the industry for the separation of contaminants present in the air 
Among these industrially, the heat and filtration are the most commonly used. Heat is ineffective in case of air sterilization and uh, due to low heat transfer efficiency of air as compared to the with the liquid. Uh, thus, more effective technique of air sterilization is filtration with fibrous and membrane filter, just I discuss. Now, filtration that uh, what, uh, what is the purpose that allow the exclusive the organism based upon the size just now I explained does not destroy or remove the microorganism because you know that when you when you talk about the removal of organism by heat heat means what when you heat the organism that uh, the protein present inside the cell they undergo denaturation and due to due to denaturation of the protein most of the enzyme will be inactivated and since the enzymes are inactivated then then the, uh, the the properties of the cells will be lost and the organism will be killed am i right but but in case of in case of filtration it is not uh, de the destruction of the cell you physically separate the cell from the from the air so this is exactly does not destroy it, but remove the microorganism filtered ster sterilization depends upon the content of air like suspended matter uh, its size and uh, type of moisture i want to uh, point out here that i work with citric acid, acid industry in citric acid industry i use uh, we use the aspergillus niger for the production of citric acid and we found the yeast is the ma major contaminant because if bacterial contamination is there we don't have any problem so if you look at the back each size is varies from 3 to 7 microns so pore size obviously this should be less than 3 microns then then it will our purpose will be served now hepa filtered hepa filter hepa means high efficiency particulate uh, efficient particulate air and uh, the filter can remove 99.97 percent of particulate of um, uh, minus 3 le microns in diameter less greater than 0.3 microns in diameter air is first passed through the pre filter to remove the large particle and then pass through the hepa filter pre filter why it is required so that load in the hepa filter will be little bit less now there are different principles through which the air can be uh, separated through the help of air filter and these principles are several one is called inertial impaction interception diffusion settling by gravitational force and the electrostatic force of attraction now what is called inertial impaction suppose this is the cross section of the fiber am i right uh, the fiber if you cut it and cross section of the fiber is this now air is flowing perpendicular to this uh, to this uh, fiber so if air will be flow like this am i right it is flowing like this like this it will be flowing flowing this way now uh, the, suppose the particulate present here so your particulates will go like this and it may not touch the surface of the fiber so if it doesn't touch then your particle will not color will not be collected by the fiber now if you increase the velocity of the air then it will be a one initial force and the due to newton first law of motion it try to maintain the same path and when it maintains the same path, then it, it, go, it slowly, slowly it will deposit on the surface of the fiber. This is called inertial impaction. Interception means what? When particle present here, when it goes, suppose the radius of the fiber is equal to the width of this uh, that you know this surface and the and the stream. Then it will touch the surface of the fiber. Then it can be collected. And what is called diffusion? Suppose this particle, uh, this is occurred. Diffusion occurred at the very low flow rate. One particle strike with another, the Brownian movement, like this, and ultimately it might be deposited on the surface of the of the fiber. This is called uh, diffusion. Now settling, since the particle we target very small amount of particles, so the the naturally small, small amount of particle through gravitational force may be neglected. And an electrostatic force, if you look at we have seen the microorganism, same microorganism as, for example, the Bacillus subtilis. They do it doesn't have the uniformity of charges. Maybe some are 50 percent positive, some 30 percent negative, or 20 percent neutral. Maybe like this distribution is there. Charged particles may be attracted the opposite surface of the 
media. And since the microorganisms are, have uh, the different charges on the surface, the electrostatic force can be neglected. So, if, if the microorganism has uh, one specific charge, then the particle the, the separation through the electricity the static force can be considered. And also mass of the microorganism is very less settling due to gravitational force can be, can be neglected. So, we will consider three different things one is inertial impaction, interception and diffusion. Uh, we assume a uh, couple of things uh, to explain that. Uh, let us uh, the single cylinder fiber, cylindrical fiber are placed perpendicular to the aerosol floor in a infinite space. Air flow around the cylinder is lamellar with no vortex and analy analysis, analysis are two dimensional. These are the three um, assumptions we make uh, uh, to explain these principles. First principles is the inertial impaction I told you and suspended particles in the air stream has a momentum. The air at which the particle suspended flow with the filter at root at least least resistance. And how, however, the particle be, because of their momentum tends to travel in the straight line. And thus the flow pattern of the particle deviates from the air flow due to the inertia of the particle as they approach to the cylindrical surface due to the first law of motion. So, here we, we considered one critical air velocity. That means, what is critical air velocity? Or critical velocity, air velocity is the velocity above which the particle will be following the particle will be collected due to the inertial impaction, because it will try to try to follow the same path. Otherwise, above the critical uh, less than the critical uh, air velocity, it will fall, follow the normal air path, then the inertial impaction will not work. Now, this is an example I, I have given, I have already told you, you can this is a particle moving, this is how it is depositing on the surface of the of the of the of the fiber. This is how uh, this is depositing. Now, here that uh, 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 that collection efficiency of the single fiber by inner inertial impaction can be given eta 0 equal to b by d f, b is the width of the stream that you know that uh, this is the fiber. So, effective effective width you we shall have to find out up to up to what width that you know that uh, this is effective. Suppose, this is b and this is diameter of the fiber is d f. So, this is uh, this uh, the collection efficiency due to inertial impaction is this uh, and this will be equal to 0 when phi psi equal to 1 by 16. What is psi? Psi called the inertial parameter and this is c rho, rho p, c is the Cunningham factor, rho p is the density of the particle, d p is the di diameter of the particle, b 0 is the velocity of the air, m is the uh, viscosity of the air, d f is the diameter of the fiber. Now, at the critical velocity, b c psi is, uh, is uh, equal to this. As, as this B c equal to this. So, in a velocity more than that, then and only then it will work, less than that it will not work. Now, in case of interception, I told you this is how it happens, this particle moving like this and when it moves, it ties, touch the surface of the of the of the of the fiber. This is particle can allow the in the flow stream in the air around and uh, the particle will contact the fiber and to be removed. This if the particle removed through this, we call it a particle through through the in, in inception. The interception that is uh, that is uh, can be expressed like this. This is equal to eta eta 2 di it is 0 2 that is equal to this 1 by 2 into 2 minus ln n r d n r d is the Reynolds number and n r is the geomet geometric ratio. What is geometric ratio? d p by d p. d p is the diameter of the particle, d f is the diameter of the fiber. So, this is how we can determine. Now, diffusion I was I was telling that extreme small particles suspended in air uh, subject to Brownian motion which uh, is a random movement uh, due to collision of the fluid mo uh, molecules. 
and uh, such particle may collect it on the surface of the fiber as the particle are displaced from their median or content median center of location. This is how one particle it is strike with another particle, another particle is strike with another particle, then ultimately it deposited on the surface. And this usually occurred when when air flow at very low velocity. Now, one thing I can I can tell you now if you if you if you if you consider that you know overall collection efficiency eta 0 if you plot with respect to velocity that uh, of the air the surface velocity of the air we will find the plot like this. Now, what does it mean? That mean that uh, as the velocity increases that your, um, your uh, overall efficiency decreases then again increases. So, the, so, you know that we find this, this is like this, this is three different part 1, 2 and 3. The, now, we find that, uh, that here particle mostly collected due to the process of diffusion, here particle mostly collected due to the process of inter interception and here particle mostly collected due to the process of inertial impaction. No, the particle uh, separated uh, by the, by diffusion can be explained like this. Only the here you can see that uh, that you, you here you consider the NR. NR is the geometrical ratio. Am I right? Now here this NR is replaced by uh, by two x zero by dF. Two x zero is the displacement. You know, path of this this is the displacement of the particle at two x zero if you consider and if you replace by that uh, geometrical ratio, you will get the particle if you, the collection efficiency of the particle due to diffusion and this uh, this 2 x 0 by d f can be re equal is equal to this one 1.122 into 2 minus log r e d b m and where d b m is the diffusivity of the particle. So, overall collection efficiency it will be what overall collection efficiency eta 0, eta 0 dash 1, eta 0 2 dash, eta 0 3 dash. Now, this interception is touching this fiber and diffusion one particle uh, that will strike and ultimately deposit on the fiber and uh, and 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 in, in a this is the in the in impaction inertial uh, in interception and impaction is that it it deviates from the path. It they when it deviates from the path it collected on the fiber surface. This can be explained like this. Now, uh, that uh, we find that uh, the overall collection efficiency is proportional to n r square n r e uh, to, to the power 1 by 6 and the n 0 is, uh, is uh, 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 that uh, 2 dash is the proportional to Smith number minus 2 by 3 and Reynolds number minus 11 by 18. Now, the, uh, the exp experience of particle sterilization by air, air is that the collection efficiency due to inertial impaction generally predominant at the higher velocity. So, the collection efficiency eta 0 can be disregarded calculated eta 0 at a low velocity less than 10 centimeter per second. In the case, I, I showed you how where at a higher velocity the particle separated due to inertial impaction is considered. Now, overall collection efficiency is calculated in N 1. Suppose, this is a fiber, the, this is a this is a filter and you pass air and air in, air in is the N 1 and this is N 2. So, removal efficiency will be what? N 1 minus N 2 divided by N 1. Am I right? This is how you can and single fiber efficiency is what equal to pi d f 1 minus alpha. What is alpha? It is the uh, fraction of the fiber that 1 minus alpha is the void fraction and L is the length of the fiber. What is this is the thickness of the fiber this uh, we can design and this is n 1 by n 2. This is the we have given here. Okay. So, this can be written in this form, this is this can be written a single fiber efficiency can be written in this form like this. Now, uh, then now this uh, now here 
uh, one thing is that uh, that uh, uh, this uh, this equation indicates the fraction of the particle collected in any section within L uh, when within L is constant, which is known as log penetration relationship. L should be less than four centimeter. The correlation between n alpha and n zero is like this. The n alpha is the single fiber efficiency. I, I, uh, the eta eta zero is the overall collection efficiency. So this can be now eta zero. That if you use the normal uh, procedure, the theoretical things, you have to. This is eta one dash, eta two dash, plus eta plus eta zero three dash. So one is the inertial impaction, one is the interception and diffusion. But here, if you use this correlation that uh, eta alpha and eta zero. So, if you know the eta alpha value or, um, or if you know the eta 0 value, we can easily calculate eta alpha alpha value and if you know the eta alpha value, we can easily find out the uh, that L, L is the thickness of the air filter, we can design like this. Now, this is the correlation that we have, there is a very interesting correlation. This is uh, this we I have taken from uh, b, uh, b, from um, from biochemical engineering by Iba Humphrey. This is the eta zero uh, a, a, n r n n p c equal to p that p c is the peaklet number p e n r is the, um, the reaction number that uh, then it is Reynolds number. So you you can you can you can you can write like this. So here here you you see that. Uh, if we plot that we can we can from the flow characteristics of the fluid we can find out what is the inner value what is the in pcp value picklet number and n0 value and if you know that corresponding value here we can find out and if we know the corresponding value no sorry if we if we can we can have this value we from this we can find out this corresponding value now here you have eta 0 value so we know the a, nr you know n p so we can easily calculate the value of n eta 0 eta 0 is the um, estimate is a, is a specific set of conditions with the help of bell to determine the value of the uh, that you know filter that thickness of the filter so if you know that then eta 0 value then what we can do we can we can find out the eta alpha value if you know the eta alpha value then I, I showed you that if you know the eta alpha value, then you this is this is eta alpha. This is uh, so this is this is eta alpha. This is eta alpha. So if you put eta alpha T f, we know alpha. You know if you the the, the the that you know collection efficiency. You know then we can easily find out the thickness of the air filter. That we can design the air filter very easily. Now, question comes: What should be the selection criteria of the air filter? Well, there are several selection criteria. One is the filter detection efficiency. How much efficiency is there? Now, here I want to tell you one important thing: that whenever we talk about the retention efficiency, that how much uh, that means how much organism it can retain. What is the total? The how long that means in uh, indirectly how long this air filter can be utilized. Then economy of the operation, how how economic, how much money you spend for that, age of the air filter, how easily you can use the air filter, and service provided by the manufacturer. These four factors that plays very important role for selecting the air filter. Most important selection criteria of the filter efficiency and reliability of the organism retention, fix uh, sub micron port size membrane filter provide the highest level of filtration efficiency. Now, membrane filtration we have some problem, because we know membrane is a very weak material, it is a membrane usually polymeric material and as your pore size decreases, the pressure drop across the membrane will be very high. If the pressure drop is very high, there is a every possibility that bursting of the uh, membrane material. So, life of the membrane reduces significantly. Hydrophobic filter, um, filtering material minimizes or eliminates concert of filter wetting due to the air moisture. So, these are the couple of factors we shall have to consider for selecting the air filter. 
Now, another, another important thing is that what are the different type of filters available? One is called depth filter, another is the membrane filter. Depth filter means it consists of either multi layer or single layer or a, of a media of depth. Uh, which captured the contamination of the structure. I can give the example of hollow fiber membrane. It is a depth filter. It is not uh, not a membrane type of filter. But a membrane membrane means it is kind of a um, uh, the sheet type of material. Is the membrane filter is typically tapped contaminants large size for uh, the address uh, the surface of the membrane. The depth filter particle penetrates the structure of the fiber and filter cake of the surface and membrane particle. So, what I want the membrane we have a particular cut up size you know that uh, that if you the size is uh, less than that uh, more than that that cannot penetrate. But in case of uh, this uh, depth filter it is it is a very thick though in in between though we have fiber it in between it, it will be this this also depends on the um, pore size but it uh, the depth that we have. Now, it is in the in case of depth filter, it is assumed that a particle touches the fiber, uh, it remains the touch, touch to it and there is a uniform concentration of particle at any given depth of filter. Then each layer with a uh, of a unit thickness of the filter should reduce the population entering in the same proportion which may express mathematically like this. The d n by d x, d x is the thickness of the filter k is the um, constant n into n. So, uh, the n is the concentration of the particle and k is the constant and x is the depth of the filter. So, if this we can write n by n 0 equal to u to the power minus k into x. So, this so we can rewrite this form in this uh, and then efficiency we can calculate e, e equal to n 0 by n by that I have shown you like this before. Now, this again we can write in this form and uh, finally, uh, the log uh, this is the this is interesting thing log penetration relationship can be used for the filter design by using the concept x x 90 x. So, what is the x 90? The depth of the filter required for the removal of 90 percent of the total particle entering the filter. Now, suppose n 0 is the 10. So, x uh, x 90 the n should be 1 am I right? Then your relationship equal to n uh, ln n by n 0 equal to k into x 90. So, we can write x 90 equal to 2.303 by k. So, we can easily find out the value of x 90. Now, uh, this is the, the kind of correlation that we have the value of k value affected by nature of filter material. So, you this is the, li the linear velocity and this is the k velocity your k value if you look at uh, this is uh, decreases it, and then it is increases like this am I right and x is the 90 value that will increase then it will decrease like the n it will the k increases to a optimum with a increase of air flow rate after which it increases the result in the decrease of k value that you know that uh, that uh, that has been uh, observed that you know we it increases then it is decreases. So, this is kind of scenario that we have in case of air filter. So, in case of depth filter the increase of k with the increasing of velocity probably with the due to the increase of impaction the this illustrates the important contribution of this mechanism makes to the removal of organism. Decrease of k value at the high velocity is probably due to the disruption of the filter allowing the channels to develop and fibers to vibrate and resulting the release of previously capturing organism. So, that you know that I want to another thing I want to tell you here that after uh, suppose whenever we use any kind of filter after sometimes we will find that a filter is totally saturated with the particles. Then if you part the air then there is a every possibility that some contaminants will comes in the air. So, you have to regenerate the filter. Now, how you can do the regeneration of the filter? Because we can do it very easily suppose this is the, the this is the filter we have and uh, this is the this is the so, here 
we put some kind of heating rod here and uh, we pass air at very low flow rate and uh, we have restricted the flow and with this is heat uh, we put uh, this connected heating rod and we try to heat this media and circulate this and we, we try to circulate the air in such a way so that all the uh, all the organism presence inside the filter that should be that will be killed and then um, we can we can we can we can start the uh, we can reuse again for the air filtration purpose so this is how we can do the regeneration of the process now membrane uh, filter that uh, is a fixed pore i told you and which is very widely used in the in the fermentation industry but uh, but it has very low low life and pre filtered from the tapping the large particles such as dust oil and carbon pipe scale and this filter may are made of varieties of polymeric materials such as cellulose nitrate cellulose diacetate polycarbonate and polyester this membranes has a pore diameter 0.015 microns to 12 microns this filter are sterilized by autoclaving the membrane filters are made of two ways capillary pore membrane uh, have uh, pores produced by radiation while the rabelithin mm, support membrane are produced by force evaporation of solvent from cellulose ester so this is the this is this is the only the problem is that the life of the membrane is very less and this is how the industry we use the filter that this is the fermenter that uh, so we use some kind of pre filter and uh, we, we, we before we 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 pass this to the for fermentation industries that uh, we we pass this liquid like this the due, due to due to hydrophobic filter system the sterilization of gas from the air filter so whatever gas is going going out that we sterilize that also we sterilize so that it should not contaminate the uh, air so um, in this particular lecture i try to uh, cover the air sterilization process and air sterilization is very important as a biochemical industry is concerned because uh, and uh, i told you three uh, methodology through which we can remove the microbes one is called sterilization remove all the microbes pasteurization only we remove the pathogens but when you remove pathogens some non pathogens also remove but our target is pathogens but thermization process just to reduce the bacterial load now we have uh, discussed the different uh, methods of air sterilization process we find that uh, filtration is the best technique for air sterilization process for the moving air and for the stagnant air we use the uv rays or we use some kind of chemical um, uh, uh, disinfectant like chlorine or iodine that we use for the uh, for disinfection purpose and uh, this uh, and now uh, the when you talk about the uh, removal through the particle removal through the filter the, there are the different principles involved for the removal of the filter inertial impaction compaction inter interception diffusion and uh, cavitation and the, uh, the uh, and electrostatic force of attraction the since the charge distribution in the in the cell are different so particle separated due to, due to the charge may be neglected but and also size of the particle is very small so uh, naturally the, um, the that cavitational force can be neglected so part, particle particle is it a separation with the help of inner cell impaction interception and diffusion that was considered to find out the overall collection efficiency the overall collection efficiency can be estimated with the in the with the help of the correlation between uh, eta alpha and eta zero and uh, where alpha alpha value should alpha is the uh, the volume fraction of the filter that presence and i told you one one minus alpha is the void fraction of the filter where the air can void fraction the air can move uh, solid fraction air cannot move and then uh, i i try to discuss the design aspect how to de 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 determine the thickness of the air filter and finally we come out uh, the two type of filter and uh, and uh, depth filter and membrane filter how it can be worked out and finally we discuss the the what are the should be the criteria 
for selecting the air filter. Thank you very much.